Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you create a PHP file which accept the ID of employee from the user and return the information of the employee as JSON object. If you remember, I've, I've created an employee table which consists of ID, name, salary. My example is how to accept the ID from the user using the URL and then return ID, name, and salary as a JSON object. So let's start this example. I'm going to add another file for my company web. So right click on the source file, new PHP file, and I would call it JSON, for example, underscore object, and then click finish. So the four steps for the write, as you remember in the previous video, is same as read, okay? So I'm going to start with connection to my database using MySQL I with four parameters, which are localhost for server name, root for the username, empty string for password, and company for the database name. Then. What about statement? Statement, connection, refer to, prepare. So select star from EMP where ID equal question mark. As you see here, this symbol is the same as dot in some programming language, like dot in Java, for example, and uh, Kotlin. Now, statement is the SQL statement. So the SQL statement for this example is select star from EMP where ID equal something accepted by the user. Now, define the question mark statement bind param. As we have talked in the previous video, it consists of two parts. The first thing, what is the data type of the question mark? I, because it is integer, ID. Then, What's the name of the variable? ID. The last thing is the execute. Now, because this example is read, how can we receive the data? In some programming languages, we use cursor, for example, or result set like Java, okay, or data set like C sharp. Here in PHP, you should define a variable called RS and use the function get result the get result will get all the data from the database and store it in the rs variable then how can we print the output of these variables so row equal rs fetch associated so this function fetch associated will get all the data from rs and store it inside the, the row variable. So if you want to print, for example, the ID, I will write echo, echo something like println in Kotlin, row ID. Then the same thing, row name, and also row salary. That means I will print ID, name, and salary. Okay, save. And let me try this example, right click, run file. Okay, question mark, ID equal, for example, 1001. Yes, as you see here, 1001, Hussein, and 3000. But I want to return the JSON format because the Android will not understand these data if they are not in the JSON format. So it is very simple. Just remove those three lines and instead of them write echo JSON encode for row. JSON encode for row. Let's again try this example. Right click, run file, ID equal 1001. Yes, as you see here, it is a JSON object, okay? Why it is JSON object? Because it will return only one employee. 
So in this video, we have talked about how can we create PHP file which read the data from the database and return JSON object. See you next video.